How's it going everybody? Pete here at Spawn Fly Fish. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. We sure did. And today we want to grab some turkey just to reminisce a little bit and tie a fly. So get your stuff and let's hit the vise. All right. In the vise today we have the A-Rex FW555. And this is the size 10. For our bead today, Spawn Football Slotted Tungsten Football Bead. If I said football twice, you're welcome, because I'm sure a lot of you just got done watching some football games yesterday. And on that note, a belated happy Thanksgiving. So as we get into this fly, let's add some weighted wire wraps so that we can secure that bead. Some .015 non-lead right here. Looking for 8, 10 wraps somewhere in that range, like so. Trim that front, and of course I'm using the inside of my dedicated wire cutting scissor here and then I'll do the same in the back just round that cut edge over and at this point make sure that our bead is in the proper position which means the bulk of it is on the outside of the shank which will help this hook keel properly and then we slick that weighted wire right into the back side there and our bead is nice and pretty and where it's supposed to be so today, just got some uni 6 aught thread, and this is black. Get that tied in, get that tag end out of there, and this will not be like my last fly on camera. This will be just shy of an hour, so hope you guys can handle it. Muster up some patience and see if you can stick with this one. I'm going to bring this thread back all the way to the very last flat portion of that shank right there. And then I'm going to come up just a couple wraps. I'll make my tying thread a very short portion so that this hook point is not an issue. Alright, first thing we want to do is we're going to tie in a tail. And today, of course, since we are so close to the Thanksgiving holiday, We'd like to incorporate a little turkey into this fly, but we're also going to use some partridge so that maybe you can look forward to Christmas and get yourself a pear tree ready. So all I'm going to do for this tail, I'm going to look for a nice section here that just has even fibers. And if, if you notice, I've got a little section there where the brown comes into play and then some modeling on those fibers. That's great. I'm a fan. I can work with that. And I've got another feather that we're going to use as a collar. And it's the same. It's, it's the partridge again. And it's going to have some of that brown in it. So why not match them up before we start? Looking for mm, just, just a little shy of one hook length here for this tail. And if you really want to be picky, just be mindful of where the darker light side is on your fibers. Our hook is upside down at this point. So we want that dark facing uh, the the bottom on this instead of like normal where we'll have that dark facing upward. All right, tie it in like so. And partridge is not going to splay a whole lot, but if you get it on there centered in where we put that previous thread wrap, it will bump and that will cause it to splay out ever so slightly. And then just finish wrapping down. Of course, nice and neat. At this point, I'm going to add my rib, and for the rib today, we're using some ultra wire. This is size small, color gold. You could absolutely get by with brassy on this one, but here we go, small wire. And I'm going to start this so that my wire butts up against the weighted wire wraps like I just did, and if you do that on all your materials, won't have any gaps in there and an even underbody, which pretty important if you want to have really nice looking flies in your fly box. All right, bringing that thread all the way back. Now let's go ahead and tie in our body material. And for today, I told you we'd use some turkey. So this is some Ozark modeled turkey from Hairline. And if you look in this area, you can see I've, I've been working in that section. And this is the section I've cut out for this fly. And I'm going to be tying it in here at the, by the tips. Going back over the tail, we'll wrap it forward much like you would for a pheasant tail. 
But on this one, of course, we are using turkey. And that was for the turkeys. I know yesterday was pretty traumatic for a lot of you. So as a way of apology, gobble gobble. Little tag end here right at the top. I'm gonna trim that up before I mash it all the way down into there. And then I'm just gonna give some X wraps on the way back. I'm not gonna really cover these down. I don't wanna smash that those fibers of that feather and bring it all the way up. All right, pretty standard here. I'm going to just raise these fibers. What I want to prevent is them twisting. So I'm going to just turn my vise to watch this first wrap or so. And as you see, we're just doing a, a nice comfortable touching wrap, but these fibers are pretty short. So you're, you're going to get to see something most people don't, and that's me use a rotary function on a vise. And let's just keep working this up nice and slow. I want to maximize all of these fibers as much as we can. A little regrip here and there just to move them. At this point, I'm up into the thoracic area. So I'm already good, but let's see if we can cheat and get one more. And I don't think we will. So let's just tie it off there. Four wraps. Let's see what our, what our thorax, oh yeah, this is perfect. So keep that in mind when you're wrapping these. If you need it to wrap farther, it's not that you necessarily need longer fibers. You just need a wider section of fibers because as you wrap, it'll take up more space and then you get to the end much quicker. Tie those little ends down. Now we've got our wire rib and I do want to counter wrap. So I came over the hook toward you with our fibers. I'm going to come under the hook toward you with the wire and then everything will be counter wrapped and in theory a little stronger. And then I'm gonna get one more wrap right here behind the bead that's gonna be my tie off like so. Get a couple wraps, one more behind, a couple in front and at this point you see my wire is angled back and that's exactly what I want. Get in here, nice clean trim. Use your thumbnail or the scissor just to push that cut edge down. And when you grab this with your thread, now there's no way that wire's coming undone. Be mindful of the end of those fibers. All right, so I had spoken earlier about our collar and here is what will become the collar, another partridge feather. Again, hint of the brown in there. And at the tip, I've trimmed those feathers up so we can just use that as a tie-in. So this time I'm tying it with the concave side toward me, which puts the convex or good side or pretty side down toward the shank. And get that tied in just a couple wraps. I don't want to lose this last fiber because it's my beginning fiber. So just get that out of the way. At this point, go ahead and trim out this tag fibers there and come back behind the bead. Now, a lot of times you can fish this in all natural tones and it works very well, especially springtime, right? Fish are still a little, a little slow to get that, that fly maybe. And sometimes that natural look is great. However, it's not gonna hurt to throw in a little hot spot and it's what we're gonna do right now. So. This is what we're gonna use, a little spawn semi-seal in the UV steel head torch. We do want to grab their attention. And this fly specifically will be tossed at some sea run cutthroat who absolutely will send you a thank you note for putting that hot spot in there. They'll be a little cranky because they got fooled by it, but you'll be happy that your fly produced the proper outcome. All right, just dubbed a little bit of a, a noodle here. Nothing crazy. This is a really simple fly. By all means, whatever feathers you happen to have on hand, don't be shy. Try them. Substitute, you know, different feathers, different body material, and just find out what will, what might not work. So all I've done, dub back, dub back over, and we're ready. Before we wrap this feather though, pull it back, Get that thread in the front so it's now between the feather and bead so that when you wrap this feather your thread isn't going to trap any fibers in the wrong direction. Coax these fibers back and simply take a turn 
and at this point if you were to tie it off you would have a very very sparse spider look to that hackle and that's a great move everything will eat it however I'm, I'm really liking this partridge feather I'm going to give it a couple extra fibers popping off there so we've got two wraps go ahead and tie that off right behind the bead one so you see there it pulls that into be behind the bead secures and three wraps pull everything back over the hook point and then a couple wraps secure nothing's moving now we safely get our scissor in there and trim out at this point you can be picky you can prim and primp all you want get those fibers exactly where you want them looks pretty good right there let's just finish tying this off make ourselves a neat and tidy little thread neck behind the bead and it's whip finish time so like i said just a little bit under an hour there for you guys hopefully you enjoy that there's one whip finish and let's put another one in there very quickly one two three and four wraps call that good trim out our thread boom now let's give this thing just a kiss of head cement for the head cement today got some loon hard head clear i'm going to be very cautious and not get that into those partridge fibers as much as i can so again how do we do that we use the back side of the bead to cheat and let it work our bodkin right to the thread and full coverage there we go pretty simple but boy is it effective turkey and partridge with a hint of spawn semi seal just to grab their attention hope you guys enjoyed this one and if you did please hit like please hit subscribe and we will see you guys on the water